Hey everybody, how's it going today? Today is Monday, the 28th, wait, the 28th of October, 2024. And I'm just sitting here wondering what the difference is between a fantasy prepper and a real prepper. And how you can tell the difference between a fantasy prepper and a real prepper. And I'm thinking that looking around and seeing what is going to happen. The election is about a week away. Some people think nothing's going to happen. Some people think it's going to be total and complete chaos. Some people are thinking it's going to be somewhere in between. So in preparation for that, do you have your... Christmas turkey? Do you have your Thanksgiving turkey? Well, some people have ham for Christmas, I guess, uh, or other things. Um, do you have all your fixings for Thanksgiving? Do you have all your fixings for Christmas? Because to me, prepping is about being able to keep the same rhythm, the same kind of life going before and after the event, any events that might happen. So <laughs> supply chain breakdowns and things like that. Um, there's one of the, one of the issues right now is, what is it called? Uh, it's called, there, it, there's a chicken farm. It's like, um, pure something poultry, pure, I forget what it is. Uh, three peas is, it, it's a poultry place out in the Midwest that went under and what they do is they, uh, they pay farmers to raise their meat birds and there's hundreds of thousands of meat birds and the company went under and so the farmers are stuck with birds that are starving because you know you don't the the farmers can't afford to pay twenty thousand dollars a day <laughs> for their big load of birds <laughs> to eat so it's a big it's a big foobar it's a big something that just it's it <laughs> so yeah so uh once all that runs through are, are the farmers going to let the birds starve? The farmers can't afford to feed the birds on their own. Technically, the birds belong to the insurance company and all that stuff. So, so it's a big mess up because the farmers can't afford to feed the birds and keep the birds going or keep that process going until they can sell it. Uh, some of the some of the farmers are selling the birds for a dollar a bird, a uh, dollar a chicken. So it's, it's a big mess. And then you have things like, um, like, like security. So what are the, what do you want? the H5N1 disease? Uh, they don't want to have that spread and it's a prime migration time for wild birds. And you don't want to have a, you don't want to buy a flock of chickens off of this big, huge chicken farm. Only to have it have only to have them have H five N one and then spread it to the migrating. It's just a big, big foobar. But uh, yeah, this big, big chicken company just went under. So you have the food chain thing. Okay, once it all, once they're all processed or things happen through the food chain, you're gonna have less chicken in the United States. <laughs> so, so, anyways, little things like that uh, have me questioning. And so have you gotten your Thanksgiving stuff all squared away, your Christmas or holiday stuff all squared away? Who knows? But I mean, I have. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's the difference for me, in my humble opinion, and my humble opinion <laughs> is just isn't worth anything, is that, you know, get your get your holiday stuff now just in case, just in case. And it's, a, yeah, it's just, just in case scenario. What are the odds? What are the odds that things are going to happen that, that people either they're going to, it's not a, the chaos is not appearing. So they'll make it themselves or nothing comes to fruition or people are already organ. Ooh. Well, you can see that <laughs> of the spray going up. Um, but yeah, the, yeah, who knows what's going to happen. If things don't happen, will, will people be disappointed? Will the preppers be disappointed? I, for one, will not be disappointed if nothing happens. But it's, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, hope for the best for me. But 
I am. Um, please join my join my cause and get your Thanksgiving fixings uh, before it. You know, in this next week or so, and get your Christmas fixings in this next week or so. And it's nice to plan ahead. It's nice to get the gifts well in advance, the holiday gifts well in advance, just to make sure everything's done. And it just feels so nice that you can sit back and relax while everybody else, you know, panics for holiday gifts. So that is my two cents. Again, my two cents isn't worth anything. But there you go. So, all right. Well, I hope you get have a good Halloween. I hope everybody has a good holiday season. Uh, I'll keep posting things more probably along the lines of quail at this point. But I just wanted to put in my two cents and say hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a uh, team prepper for the ages. Uh, it is very, very nice to have you here. And thank you for following along. Okay. All right. I hope this finds you well. Take care. Bye.